One of the focal points of our trade policy is that in order for President Obama and I to make a thoughtful value proposition to the American public, that it is in our interest to continue to engage the world in trade liberalization, whether it's through further developments in this relationship or passing the Doha Agreement, we have to be able to look American men and women and workers and businesses in the eye and say, first of all, we're going to insist on one simple proposition. All of our partners have to play by the same rules that we do. And you know what the United States has to do? Global trade doesn't work unless it occurs in a rules-based system. And it means especially for two economies rooted in the fundamentals of democracy, the rule of law, and freedom, the world watches the United States and the European Union for everything. And even if our disputes are this tiny, but we use these disputes to deny any of our exporters access to our markets, the world can take this crack and turn it into something this big. And then it becomes a snowballing effect in which we find ourselves thinking that we're engaged in a sub-zero game, but we have ended up changing the calculus for how the world behaves, and we end up with more and more of these non-tariff barriers. We have to be about more than just solving those individual challenges and have the ability to think big, come up with a strategy to make that happen, and execute against it. And because of your involvement, your leadership, and the structures that we're putting in place between our two governments, I'm confident that we can get there.